God, our Father in heaven, hallowed is your name. Thank you for the privilege and the access to come in confidence to your throne of grace, where we can obtain mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. We need you, O oh Lord. And so we come in the name of Jesus today. We rejoice in saying, you are our God. We worship you and you alone. Thank you. Thank you for daily provision, naturally and spiritually. Thank you for protection. Thank you for the plan of salvation through faith in your Son, Jesus the Christ, in whom through his blood we have forgiveness of sin. Thank you for forgiving us and for your enabling power that's available so that we can forgive others. Father, thank you for the trials and the triumphs. Thank you for bringing us through the dark and evil days of yesteryear. Thank you for those who bore the burden and paid the price for freedom as a people. Let us not forget their sacrifice of life they paid dearly. The cost was so great. And today we pray. We pray for this generation to be willing to stand as they stood. To stand for righteousness. To stand for justice and equality. Lord, open our eyes. So that we understand as they understood that the fight is not just for the present but for generations to come. Help us to not be so focused on ourselves and our selfishness and our entitlement concerning our rights and our will and what we want but remind us to Pray for your kingdom to come and your will to be done in earth and in future generations. Help us to realize that just as we stand on the shoulders of those who fought for us today, so must future generations stand on our shoulders. And therefore we must be vigilant. We must be alert, knowing that our adversaries are many. But you, hallelujah, you, O oh Lord, you are with us when we stand courageously for righteousness, justice, and truth. Let us be the light that shines in this dark and crazy world. May we, your people, who are called by your name, have the fortitude, boldness, and tenacity to stand fearlessly in the face of opposition and fight for what is right. Speak out against what is wrong. Do what is right. And that we will speak the truth in love and speak truth to power, being confident that the invisible host of heaven's armies is with us and they are much greater and more powerful than those opposing us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, our just and holy God. Let us not forget that you see all the good and the bad and you know everything past present and future nothing nothing is hidden from you 
and in your perfect timing, you, you will expose lies. You will reveal hidden agendas that are evil and plans and plots to suppress the truth. And when truth is revealed, people will be made free. Help us to remember and to declare Jesus is truth. Father, as we commemorate black history, we pray, let the good fight of faith today be a legacy we leave for tomorrow. May the truth that we stand on and declare today be words of power that will empower and transform lives tomorrow. Help us not to bow down to the idols of social systems and compromise your standards for fear of being excluded in a godless culture. Ah, huh, God. Like the disciples in Acts 4 and 29, after being threatened, we too pray for boldness to declare your truth and to defend the faith. Thank you, Father. Thank you for empowering our ancestors and our elders to endure hardship, to endure persecutions, struggles to stand in faith and survive great adversity so this generation could have a great cloud of witnesses cheering us on, saying, fight the good fight of faith. Sound the alarm and declare, let justice roll down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream, according to Amos 5 and 24. Father, we pray, let us not grow weary in doing what is good, in doing what is right and pleasing in your sight. Your great name be exalted in the earth, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. It is in the matchless, marvelous, and mighty name of Yeshua we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. And it is so. And it is so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.